Today, I'm going to be talking about a feature that is in Divi that very few people talk about. And now this feature is so powerful that it can really change the way your website is going to work and also make you more money. What do I mean by this? Now, let's say you're selling a product online. Sometimes it's very difficult to know which product or which headline is performing more than the other. So in this example, I'm going to show you how to set up a split testing. Now here I've just created version one and version two. Now, because this is on my local computer, I cannot really show you a lot of stats here, but this is the best way to sort of like see which headline works. Now over here, this is our first headline. If we actually go into our wireframe here, we can see the versions, version one and version two. So what we're doing here is we're testing this heading to see which one performs well in order for us to see more opt-ins here. So let me show you version one. So this is version one. It starts with lorem ipsum. I'm going to close that. Let me show you version two. Version two starts with that. So the goal now is to see how many people actually fill up this form after they've seen this headline. So that is what we're going to be setting up today. This is a really powerful feature. Can't wait to show you because there are so many ways that we can implement this in our designs. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. The link to that is in the video description below. All right, guys, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is to uh, create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. So let's give this page a name. Let's call this split use Divi builder. All right. So let's build this from scratch. And um, the structure we're going to need here is a two thirds, one third. And I'm just going to close here. So the goal here is to see how many people sign up for our email opt in. So I'm going to come over here and let's add our email opt in. I'm just going to do a bit of design to it just to uh, make it look nicer. So uh, let's just add our own text in here. In fact, that's a bit too much. There we go. All right. So let's give this. In fact, you know what? We don't even need a title for this. And let's head over here to our fields. So on the fields, we can either show or not show our last name. So I prefer not showing the last name. And then I'm going to come all the way down here to the background and let's give this a nice background color. Then finally, let's give this some rounded corners. So I'm going to come over here to my border. OK, so this is where the rounded corners are. We just add three just to uh, clean it all up. And then uh, we're just going to go in and uh, change the text here from the default to say Poppins. Now, for those of you that watch my tutorials, you know, this is my favorite font. OK, so let's just increase the size here a little bit. And I think pretty much that's it. Uh, this does not look like our standard opt in form that we normally get when we uh, use Divi. OK, so that's the goal. So over here, we're going to add some content. So what we're going to add here is going to uh, determine which headline or which uh, video is performing to make people take the, uh, the action over there on the form. OK, so let's add our module here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my uh, text module like that. And I'm going to add in my text. So this text is a bit too much. So I want to go in now and just remove a bit of it. Now let's go in and customize this text. So let's set our font here to Poppins. Uh, increase the size a little bit. Let's add some line height just to make it easier to read. OK, so I'm going to go with 1.5. I'm going to change the color. And maybe we should make it semi bold. OK, so that's our main title there. I'm going to add an image here on the bottom. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and let's add our image module. And for our image, I already have an image in my media library. So I'm just going to go in and uh, choose my image. So let's have a look. Um, I'm going to add OK, so let's add this as our image. But of course, you can add any image that you want in here. And then we're going to save. So here's the thing now. Our main thing here is to see how people respond when they see this heading here. So this is the split testing that we're going to uh, set up. So to know which one is responding well, they need to take an action over here, which is filling in this form. So we're going to have two titles here. So to set up our split testing here, we're going to click on these three little dots here. It's very important we click here and then we need to choose split test. OK, so now we need to set our goal. I want to say OK. So this is our goal. Make sure that that circle is there. I'm going to click here and I'm going to say OK. So that is our goal. And the goal is when someone fills in this, 
email opt-in. Great. Now you notice when I hover over here, there's these stats here showing. If I click on it, this is going to show me my clicks, the reads, the bounces, the goal engagement, the conversions, and so on. So I'm going to close out of here. There's no data anyway for us to look at. So what I'm going to do next is right now we are looking at this main headline here. So if I click this little arrow, it opens up the exact copy of this one, which is the one we need to go in and add a different heading. So what I'm going to do for me to see this easier, I am going to come over here to these three little dots on the bottom here and then click here on wireframe view. And now you can see the two examples. So this is the first one. This is the second one. They are both identical. And this here is our goal. So what I need to do now is to go into the, this one here or even the top one. It doesn't really matter. And then change this headline. OK, so I'm going to change this to that and then save. So what Divi is going to do now is it is going to split how many people see the first version and the second version 50-50. Uh, so it will get, let's say there's 100 people visiting the website, 50 will see the, the first one and the other 50 will see the second one. So how it determines which headline is performing better is by our goal, which is filling in the opt-in form. So when someone goes in and fills in the opt-in form based on maybe version one, it means that that's going to have more stats towards it. So this is how the split testing works. So let me show you now design wise what this would look like. So I'm going to switch back over here and uh, let's go back to our design view. In fact, while we're here, we can just name them. So let's call this version two. So this makes it easier for us to see which one is which. So this one here, we're going to call version one. OK, great. So we have version one, version two. I'm now going to go back. Like, let's save this just in case something goes wrong. All right. So now that I've saved this, I'm going to go over here to my desktop view and our image here. We can change this, you know, to a different image if we if we wanted to. It doesn't really matter. And by the way, if we decide we want to split test our image here, we can actually use two different images and this becomes our goal as well. So what you need to do next, since this is an email opt-in, you need to come over here now, click on this gear icon and make sure you set everything up. And that is to go in and connect your email account over here. So for example, here we have MailChimp. There's so many to choose from, so you need to choose yours and uh, set it all up here with an API key and account name. Now, once you've done that, when someone subscribes, they'll be added on to the mailing list. Now, I'll do a specific video and show you how to connect this form to your email service provider. Okay, so let's say everything is all set now. The next step now is to save and exit, and let's have a look and see what version we are shown here by Divi. So I'm going to save and exit. Okay, fantastic. So you can see here, I'm seeing this lorem uh, ipsum. I'm pretty sure if I open this in a, uh, in a different tab, uh, in incognito window, this might be different. So let's have a look. Okay, so it's the same one because I thought this was going to be through IP address. In fact, this is not an incognito window. Let me just go into incognito window because what I've done there is I just opened the same site. Okay, there we go. So you can see here, my headline is different. And if I uh, take a look at the other one, this one is what I was shown. So it is split testing, which is fantastic. So based on the two things that we've just done here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and um, add my name and email. Not sure if this is going to work since this is not really connected. Okay, I knew that uh, this wasn't going to work because I needed to uh, connect this with uh, MailChimp or whatever email service provider. But now the reason why I was uh, entering this is because I need to go in now and uh, see the stats. So to see the stats, you need to enable the builder. And all you have to do now is to hover over here and click these little icons. So now you can see we have version one and version two. So when I take a look here, version two had one impression. Now, of course, I wasn't able to go in and uh, fill in that form, but this is how the stats would show. So eventually we will have one version that will have more impressions and clicks than the other. And that is the one that we'll pick as the winner. And then we can just use that one. By doing that, now we know exactly which one has more results. So this is how you end up getting more people to sign up for your email opt-ins. Or even if it's a product that you're trying to compare between two products, then you'll know which one or which headline actually works the best. So anyway, guys, this is all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.